Pisa, one of Italy's oldest cities, was a top maritime and commercial Mediterranean power. A new era of Tuscan art came to life with the building of the cathedral. Cathedral Square is one of the main centers for medieval art worldwide and a World Heritage Site since 1987. The cathedral, the Leaning Tower, the baptistry and the cemetery dominate the square. The uniform white Carrara marble, the arcades and colonnades create a closed building complex. Construction of the Santa Maria Assunta Cathedral, Cathedral of St. Mary of the Assumption, began in 1064. The cathedral was constructed by the Pope in 1118 and set the standard for all later cathedrals. The interior boasts mosaics showing a strong Byzantine influence, while the arches reflect Islamic influence. Giovanni Pisano's elaborate pulpit stands at the end. Its upper part shows scenes from the New Testament, while the pedestal depicts allegorical figures. The 91-meter dome was built in 1434 without using scaffolding. Among the many great works of art, a bronze chandelier, the Lamp of Galileo, stands out. They say Galileo gleaned the laws of pendulum movement by watching the swinging of this lamp. The cathedral's freestanding bell tower is known worldwide as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Construction of the white marble bell tower spanned 200 years. It wasn't planned to stand askew, but due to the poorly laid foundation and loose soil, it began leaning southwest soon after its construction started. Currently, the bell tower tilts 9.3 meters. The top floor was finished in 1372, and the bell tower, housing seven bells, one for each note of the musical major scale, was also added then. The tower weighs 14,500 tons and is 57 meters high. Almost 300 steps lead to the top. In January 1990, 
after over two decades of stabilization studies to keep the tower from toppling, the bells were removed to relieve some weight and cables anchored to the building. After a decade of reconstruction, the tower reopened in 2001, ready for another 300 years. The baptistry, with a circumference of 107 meters, is the largest such building in Italy. Construction was finished in the 14th century. The signature of the artist can be read on the two pillars inside the building. Because construction lasted so long, the transition from Romanesque style to the Gothic style can clearly be seen on the chapel. Campo Santo, or the Holy Field, is said to have been built around a shipload of sacred soil from Golgotha, brought back from the Fourth Crusade. The field itself is surrounded by a marble wall. The outer wall consists of 43 blind arches. Its right doorway is crowned by a graceful Gothic tabernacle. Frescoes covered the walls till the 17th century. After World War II, the most famous fresco was restored as closely as possible to its original state. <laughs> 